Jose Rizal was born on June 19, 1861, in Calamba, province of Laguna, the seventh child of Francisco Mercado Rizal and Teodora Alonso. His mother and his tutors saw in Rizal a bright kid with a lot of potential. He grew up to be a small quail boy and was always bullied for it. This, however, never stopped him from rising up and using his fists when challenged to defend himself or to protect a weak or abused friend. The young Rizal witnessed and experienced firsthand the brutality and injustice of the Spanish colonial officials. His mother was wrongly accused of a crime and was jailed for two and a half years. Seeing his potential, his parents enrolled him at the Ateneo Municipal de Manila, a school regarded well by the Filipinos of that time. He studied the arts and graduated with the highest honors in his class. He got his Bachelor of Arts degree at the age of 15. He was then enrolled at the Universidad de Santo Tomás de Manila to study philosophy but later decided to transfer to medicine. Just before turning 21, Rizal traveled to Europe using money that his brother Pachano gave him. He visited several factories in Barcelona, writing to his family. I'm making a study of all these things to apply them here when I return. In Madrid, he continued his study of medicine, philosophy and letters and the fine arts, drawing and painting. It was in Madrid that he also wrote the work that brought him fame, as well as the mortal hatred of the friars, the Noli Mi Banham. The arrival of this novel in the Philippines caused a commotion in friar circles. But to everyone else, his book created awareness and consciousness of everything that was happening. Rizal then returned to the Philippines against the advice of his family and friends and practiced medicine. Upon his return to Europe, he published an annotated version of the Ciceros de las Islas Filipinas, or events in the Philippine Islands, which he dedicated to the Filipinos. Around this time, he also wrote the sequel to Noli, the El Filibusterismo and once again, the call of his beloved Madeline prevailed and he returned to the Philippines. Rizal was captured and was exiled to Dapitan, where he continued his pursuits. After a quick and unjust trial, he was pronounced guilty. Rizal was put on death penalty. He was shot on December 30, 1896 in Bagumbayan, Manila. His fall, however, fueled the revolution that brought an end to Spain's colonial rule and helped give birth to a nation.